So issue 12 has just been released and I wanted to give you a little run through of what is inside the 136 pages of this particular issue. Uh, it's our biggest yet. As you'll see, we have a very funky retro cover um, and the theme is relating to our showcase, which we'll talk about a little bit later. As per normal, we have the A to Z of news. We even have some longer news stories, but we don't have the car care adventures because of COVID. So uh, we weren't able to go anywhere. So what we have done um, is done a much more in-depth guide features, which is what people wanted, and in-depth uh, mega tests and stuff like that. So uh, first of all, we kick off with the new products. We've got a combination of professional and home user products, uh, and we've split them into pre-wash, wash, decon, correction, protection, maintenance, and we've even created a um, standalone ceramic section as well, uh, because there are so many new ceramic products on the market. Um, and of course, we have the interior section. We then move on to hardware, where we've got everything from Lake Country to Dewalt, uh, loads of interesting kit that's come out on the market and snuck under the radar, um, and some suppliers as well who you've probably never heard of, but they're gonna be big on the scene, we suspect. Then we have an interview with Kelly Harris, um, who is obviously the, the man, the front man for LC Power Tools and Lake Country Manufacturing. Um, we've done a lot of video interviews and we're putting them slowly onto YouTube, uh, but here is a nice sort of pre pre C is that the word? I don't think so, uh, but it's like a, a, a breakdown and it's really interesting how um, Kelly managed to go from um, being one of the very first into detailing to now being, you know, probably one of the most respected in the country. We then have the Encyclopedia. So this is uh, a vast article trying to cover every genre of pad. So it's not every make and model of pad, it's every type of pad, if you like. Um, and it's a really useful thing just to reference and to look through. There are many more than you would expect. Um, then in our first guide, we have badge removal, how to remove badges and decals and the different types from the ones which are just stuck on to the ones that are pinned. Um, we've also got an article about glass polishing. It's not really a how-to guide. It's more of a, um, is it possible? How does it work? And big thanks go out to Dave Patterson, um, particularly for helping us with uh, some guidance on that. And we've also talked to a couple of other industry experts to put that one together. Um, and then we had a go ourselves. Uh, and nearly killed herself, so that was good. Um, then we have uh, a nice article on maintenance of ceramic coating. So we've used, uh, well, we've asked Ricardo, of, uh, who's one of the chemists behind Labo Cosmetica, and Andreas, uh, who is one of the chemists behind Nanlex. So some real heavy authority, heavy hitters, uh, who have told us how to maintain ceramic coated cars. We then have a big guide on orange peel removing and wet sanding uh, and we've got some interesting products that aren't normally available in this country yet uh, that we put to the test with some pretty amazing results to be honest um, so a really useful guide there we then in our chemistry corner build on the mega test in issue 11 uh, which was on heavy cut compounds so we're looking at the chemistry of compounds uh, again really interesting and, and we've done a lot of research for it um, then we have a refresh or a redux so to speak on the showcase car from uh, last issue, which was Ian's very own Audi A5, uh, which we coated with AutoSmart uh, Matrix and with Kujitsu wheel coatings as well. So it's just a sort of a follow up on that. And then we get into the mega test. This one has been so much fun to do. I mean, they're all pretty fun, but this one particularly so. Uh, we're doing hand applied glazes and all in ones. So we had about 30 products and they range from um, really quite affordable to really quite expensive. And we put them to test on uh, our Renault 5 project car. We put them to test on specially prepared panels, getting a mixture of different paint types, different methodologies. Um, and we've published all our findings. As you can see, this one is really in depth. Uh, I was able to get my teeth into the products. We're looking at the SDS sheets, looking at the background and um, going through that. Now I'm gonna be an absolute bastard and hide the end result from you, um, but uh, it's an interesting one. And you know what? We've actually picked a winner this time as well as two in second place. So it's not one of those sort of slightly vague horses for courses. Uh, detailing girl, uh, we interviewed her. She's from the Netherlands and runs the detailing shop out there. Um, is tightly tied in with Flex and Angel Wax and various others. Uh, so it's a fascinating little interview there about her life in detailing. The Wellness, a really popular section. Uh, this time we're talking about uh, dermal stuff, so skin care basically, skin protection, and how things, uh, how to basically how to protect yourself, but also how chemicals cause you damage. Um, and imposter syndrome, which was something that Ian had discovered um, and then thought actually it's really, really relevant. Um, to our industry particularly, but also I think the broader world. We then have an interview with Damien of Soft99, um, and he's given us a really long interview on um, 
you know, what it envisages the, the European market for Soft99 and detailing in general. Really insightful guy, very, very bright chap. Um, so well worth a read there. Then we do a van build with Andrew Southall, um, Southall rather, of Detail by Andrew. And he's uh, used the lockdown to rebuild and redesign his van. And thankfully he took loads of photos and has given us a guide on how to do it and what to think about. So when you're doing your own, it's really handy. Uh, then I put together a little guide for uh, promoting your car care business. So this is kind of new startups who wanna get the word out there looking at different ways of promoting your business. And it's actually one of a two part article because I started writing and then about three or four days later, woke up again and we were kind of knocking on the door of 10,000 words. And I thought, I just can't do that to you guys. Uh, we've got to cut it in half. So we've done that. And uh, the next bit will be in issue 13 in July. Uh, then we have an interesting piece here from uh, Steve Miller of Valet Pro because he is uh, heavily involved with the European market. Valet Pro export more products than, than they sell domestically. Uh, something not many people know about. Um, and as a result, Brexit and all that has been a bit of a challenge. We then have a show us your shop with Peter Davis. Uh, very shortly, a video will be hitting the tube, uh, an interview with Peter. Really nice guy, really interesting, uh, knows his stuff. So um, yeah, keep an eye on the tube for that. And then we have our showcase. Again, it's a big monster showcase. Instead of doing lots of little cars, we've focused on one and we actually bought a car for this, uh, a classic 1989 Renault 5, 88 even, I think. And um, it was, it's a cooking model. It's a five door, it's a 1.2. It's not exciting, but um, it actually has been really fun getting this car back. And it's kind of, it's, uh, it, it's not a, a restoration. I'd call it a restoration detail. Um, more than anything else, but uh, no, it's a fun one. And it was also fun to write and photograph, put it this way. We start with Petite French 32 from Gloucester, seeking companion for long summer drives and maybe steamy roadside encounters. Must have a workshop and know how to look after me. Um, and we were the people for that sometimes. Um, so anyway, we have a uh, massive write up on that. And then this leads through to um, the a little article we did on uh, the lockdown, how it's affecting our industry and how uh, PBD is going to be basically or has already been lobbying uh, government to try and disseminate between a, a big car wash and actual professional balloters and detailers. So as ever, we also have the directory of PBD members in the back, um, as well as some local car care shops for those who want to go and buy over the counter uh, as opposed to online. Uh, and that is issue 12. Uh, my apologies for it being late, it was somewhat out of our control, uh, but you can get yours now and you can get it for $6.99, including UK delivery at www.pro-detailer.com.